able to play much of a game so far. <laughs> Mayhem Academy, it, it, it's like it's like they're playing Monopoly and they're making up all of the rules to the game, mm -hmm. right? Because no one actually knows all the rules to Monopoly. If you do, y I think you need to go see somebody. It's like <laughs> Risk. <laughs> yeah, right? exactly. But like the way that they're doing it, it's like they're playing with their little brother and be like, actually, every time you pass go, you pay me two hundred dollars. What surprise? Yeah, yeah, and then they're like, okay, cool. I'm going to give you $200. But let's look at these team comps real quick as Mayhem Academy on the defense going to be running that double sniper that used to be very, very popular on Assault Nabs back in the day. Jacob Contenti is going to be running a little bit of a different look. HTP Herald going to be on the Diva this time around. And Suppose going to be on Moira with Zolik on that Lucio. So Suppose on Moira is there for a couple reasons as uh, Harold is going to get d -Mech to start things off. Maybe they expect Cassandra on the other side. It's a really great way. She can. She has a lot of self-vacancy and the Coalescence is really good in terms of making the tempo go on at your side. It's going to be the first ult that we see, but right now, impressively, Fact Fiction actually ahead of Suppose. Yeah, that's not something you might 100% expect. He's been doing good getting some of that early cleave damage, softening up these players so that Shax can cut them down. Chicken Tendies, you know, playing around that Mega Pack right now, which is what you want to do when you are that Reinhardt. Sorry, a goat's foot. Uh, Harold goes down, and that's so much damage mitigation and mobility gone now from Chicken Tendies. I would suggest a reset right here. All you're doing is feeding into more of that ult charge. Well, Fact Fiction did use that Primal Rage, so if you're a class half full kind of person, that means they won't have that for that next fight, but they will have Transcendence and Valkyrie available. Chicken Contendies losing almost all of their members immediately after that, and then they're in a position in which they couldn't reset in an easy way, so the easiest way was actually to die in that situation. Chicken Contendies coming in, though, with some uh, tools at their disposable. Yeah, <laughs> and hopefully they're not super disposable ults, though, Boof, because Chicken Tendies, their goal is going to be winning point A, using as few as of them as possible so they can snowball this onto B, but they got to contend with the dragons. Are oh. they as hungry as gods? Yes, takes down Suppose. <laughs> you know, maybe a uh, phase was available. Maybe they used it into oh. the dragons, but this time around, Megachu going to show up on the kill feed a bunch of times on his Hanzo not his Vera, but some good stuff there. And we just saw the value of vision, something that we don't get a lot in Goat's meta because everyone's in together anyway. But in that situation, Shax giving wall hacks gave Megachu the opportunity to uh, throw that Dragon Strike in the best possible it, way. Yeah, you funnel all of them into that hallway and it's literally uh, like shooting fish in a barrel. Mangachu, he just, you know, shoots right in front of his face and it catches so many of Chicken Tendies uh, you know, unawares right there. However, now suppose will have that core essence. You can melt down one of the supports, but more importantly, Salty is going to be hunting for some grab targets. Buck is going to escort the rest of Chicken Contendies on it to the point as the Valkyrie Contain Rush is going to go down, and Mangachu is going to rip through Harold with that Storm Bow. Looks like that was one cooldown. Good stuff from him. Fact Fiction also has that Primal Rage, so that stun doesn't quite matter. As Jack's on it, this Widow just doing a lot of body shotting, but his team, that's what they need right now. The headshot Ooh. would be nice. Just like he got on his salty, but he's doing the damage, he's doing the work, and his team is following it up. Mm -hmm. The most important thing when you are running these two double snipers is to communicate really well with your team because you aren't going to have as much point presence as a death ball. Oh, or a shield to block shatters potentially. Paintbrush stayed alive for much longer than I think he would have, should have during this fight, but Mangachu also has a vision, so he wants to try to take someone out by himself. He's going to be able to and know how to do that, but now Chicken Contendies finally are sniffing this point. Suppose going to use that coalescence, try to get some more members out, but no, they're going to lose some members of the, their own Mayhem Academy. They're coming back onto this point, they definitely have a chance to defend, especially if Eps is going to volley into Suppose's head just like that. That is not the food for champions, my friend, not Wheaties. No cotton balls. <laughs> no cotton balls. And yikes. Wow. Tendies had such a great open air right there. You couldn't hope for a better pick. And they just weren't able to finish their plate. Epps being that third sniper on the team really putting in that damage. And Chicken Tendies haven't been able to get any meaningful progress on this point. Dragon Strike going to split the team away. Harold really apart. The rest of his team is going to get d neck Had self-destruct. You know, fading that in. It's going to be more of a zoning self-destruct. That's actually going to take some good damage from the remake. You don't see that every day. Mayhem Academy still in complete control of this fight. Epps actually winning out. Had a D.Va and a Moira oh, going on, yeah. on him. Yep, and he's going to get the kill on the d neck and at the Moira. Epps can be left to his own devices. Doesn't even need the Transcendence to finish this out. Chicken Contendies not going to capture another point A. Every engagement. 
attendees was walking into a fiery rage, man. They were put through the meat grinder right there, and every every time that they thought they might have an advantage, they got shut down. And Harold, uh, we talked about Gig, we talked about you know Buck and their positioning uh, issues, but Harold on this Diva struggling. You know, it's uh he he was able to get a little bit of you know peeling and damage done, but the first time that he used his self destruct was because he was forced to for the remake. Tendi's got to watch that positioning. Where was Salty? You know, he was all the way behind that mini room, nowhere near the rest of his team who was trying to get a little something done on the objective. And Mayhem Academy is a team now. They're so strong, so stacked. You can't give them those opportunities because, you know, you may have a ton of barriers and shields, but if you're not using them to, you know, build a safety egg around yourself, Shaxx and Mangachu, one or the other, will be finding those shots. Or Epps, really impressing on that Zenyatta. And if you guys are all wondering why Harblue is not playing on Chicken Contendies right now, there was a little bit of a family situation that's very unfortunate for him. So all the love to Harblue uh, from us, from the Contenders family. Chicken Contendies are going to try their best to uh, send a little bit more love as well. I'm sure his teammates are going to be very important uh, in this period of time. Mayhem Academy, um, uh, <laughs> that's not going to happen, just so everyone knows. Oh, it might. I mean, maybe she doesn't play great. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> Fat Fiction you know, has has dabbled, I'm sure, with this Symmetra as well. Chicken Tendies going to be holding with the Winston Ana Goats, so not too bad right there. Giving up the Brigida for that Ana. Can play keep away with the anti-nade, but Mayhem Academy going to go for a very unorthodox engagement. Only one tank, which is Shaxx, and nah, they're going to they're gonna swap things up. This is maybe even too crazy for the mayhem right here, which is, it's in their name, man. It's all about I sowing discord. The so they do want to make sure they have as best of a shot at the point, though. It's not about winning every fight. It's about winning your best fight. So they're going for the long game. I mean, that's just like the life of being on defense, right? <laughs> you win every fight until overtime. The one, that, you know, mm -hmm. and then you just lose the one uh, that matters at the very end. Chicken contendies on this defense. Let's hope that they do a little bit of a better job this time around uh, with Gig on the Winston than they did on Blizzard World on the point A defense. Uh, Mayhem Academy going to be running in with Goats this time. Uh, they could have ran their quasi DPS with that Wrecking Ball if they so choose, but they're going to go with the classic this time around. That's going to get slept really good. That was across the field from Harold there. Uh, you know, he was just throwing it into the room. Sometimes you just hit someone. The charge onto the other high ground for Fact Fiction is just pretty fancy tactical repositioning indeed as he's going to go ahead and hammer Salty and Salty is going to give him some ult charge in the end. Gig's going to be very, very fast to that Primal Rage if he's able to stay alive. But Manitin demagging Salty, his counterpart, is going to make that much harder to do. And just like Blizzard World, Chicken Contendies is going to fall by the wayside. They're going to get team wiped. Mayhem Academy are going to win this in no time. Mm, don't blink too fast, kids. Chicken Tendies. They went for that dive defense. You have the Winston for that mobility, that repositioning, but unfortunately they just never really got on top of Mayhem Academy. They allowed them to set up on that point, and that's what you can't do as a defense. You always have to be applying a little bit of pressure. You always have to be like the what if, right? If I, as a Reinhardt, walk forward, am I going to get s stunned, you know, melted immediately? Am I going to leave my back line open, you know, if I'm an off tank? So that, those are the questions that Tendies didn't make Mayhem answer. Well, I mean, they are playing without arguably yeah. like the identity of the team, exactly. right? Their 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 leader. Uh, this is kind of like when uh, like as a, I used to be a teacher. If uh, I, I taught some middle school back in the day, and one of the scariest things was a substitute. Right, like coming back and seeing what the substitute teacher wrote about your class, right? Because it was either like amazing, right, or it was like they threw their trumpet at me, which was a real thing that happened. And so, um, <laughs> you know, at this point, we're closer to trumpet than uh, we watched a movie and it was great. It was mm -hmm. probably Amadeus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, those band nerds out there know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but now that we're going into map four, Chicken Contendies, again, just really want to try to get this uh, map. They looked really good last week against Gladiators mm -hmm. Legion. Uh, it's a little bit unfortunate this time around. It's hard to kind of like fault them for, for yeah. some of this play. Uh, but we are here. Mayhem Academy are up 3-0. The show zero. must go on. Exactly. Right. Mayhem Academy are up 3 to nothing, and we're going to be going to our last escort map here in just a second. If Chicken Contendies fix something, I always ask this question to you, right? Like, as, as of right now, they're, it's kind of discombobulated in terms of, like, who, who really needs to be where and how to go about these fights. But one thing is for sure, right? They just need to, I think, talk and communicate, right? Because they're all just attacking this. And once they, like, complete what they know, Everything after seems to fall apart. 
Yes. So for for tendies, it's about you know keeping the sweater together. You gig dies first, it unravels, right? Buck dies first, it unravels. So it everybody is very familiar with goats now. So it's just about you know playing a good game. It doesn't have to be a crazy game. It doesn't have to be like the weirdest comp or like the craziest comp that you've ever seen. But stick to your foundations. All of these players on tendies are good. Right? They right. all have that individual potential there. It's just about making sure that the cogs fit, right? And that if you are going to be going in to try and tag in that point as a diva, that maybe your Zarya is behind you, give you a bubble, maybe you'll lose your mech, but at least the bubble will, you know, give you a shot right there to keep that mech, keep brawling in there. So chicken tendies, uh, I do like this look if they're going to go with that Sombra. Buck, although he did die, uh, you know, oftentimes to Zens in that back line, this gives them options, right? Because just walking forward and trying to get a pick, you know, trying to shatter a shield first has not been working for them. So this is good flexibility and adaptation to try a different look. Yep, I like it. Buck trying to Zen it Sombra, and I like the experimentation here because why not, really? And uh, the Sombra tends to be the character that puts a lot of teams over the others. Mm -hmm. And so now that we're in Gibraltar... Sky Foxes, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm still thinking about both the Sombra. And so Chicken Contendies is going to be rocking their own. And one thing about being... Ooh, got Fire Strike White to the right to the face to start things off. Sombra has always been good on Gibraltar, so it's good to see her back here. See if those EMPs are going to be effective. Is Dig going to be switching over to that Reinhardt? Buck going to be on that Zarya. It wasn't feeling it. Mm -hmm. And Zarya is a good choice against Magachu's Roadhog, too. Thank you, Sir Hog. I'm actually very excited to see how Mayhem Academy end up playing this. They will have a big advantage in terms of breaking shields, even though they aren't running a Zenyatta in the, with, uh, with that Roadhog. So Chicken Tendies, they just... Oh, wow, Salty. Okay, okay. Suppose picks up the hog as well, and you know, Chicken Tendy's getting some distance, gonna get some distance on this payload. Salty doing some good work, Mayhem Academy. Finally falling by the wayside for Chicken Contendies. Chicken Contendies do make their place on this payload, and they're going to be falling underneath the car wash. Man, the enemy will have an opportunity to come back and attack again. Mm -hmm. And Epps, I would say, wisely swapping onto the Zenyatta. You can't just think about, you know, what about this point eight defense, but Hangar Phase easily snowballs. So Mayhem Academy wisely playing for these longer game. A boop off, you know, Pack Fiction falls off. The rest of Mayhem Academy, though, will be behind him. So again, a stalemate here. Mayhem Academy doesn't have any ultimate, so Chicken Contendies are going to win this fight if they have done their ult tracking correctly. Chicken Contendies is now going to be using that Nano onto Gig, who's going to hold his shield up through the majority of it. That Nano gives you durability, but it also gives you damage. Earth Shatter is going to knock three onto the ground. The Transcendence is there to keep Chicken Contendies healthy, but still, Mayhem Academy not going to be healthy for much longer. Gig going to get those first two kills. That could have been cleaner for Chicken Contendies, but they are going to grab this first point. That's got to feel good, especially after those two last maps. Oh yeah, pulling it back right here on Gibraltar. You can see that, uh, Although it wasn't necessarily the cleanest fight in the universe, they're still trying to go for that yeah. ultimate discipline. No! <laughs> ah, by the skin of his rollerblades, Paintbrush manages to escape. You know, that was a, that was a clencher right there, yes. right? If the wall wasn't there, mm -hmm. neither would mm -hmm. Lucio. Neither would Paintbrush. Exactly. Mayhem Academy now have the ultimate advantage. Nick's going to have this Earth Shatter, but Steve's going to be as big as the last one. It's good that he's going to be able to start this off. Rally now from Mangachu. They want to make something happen. They want to engage the contendies. Invested a lot into that last fight. They know that the only support ultimate might be that sound barrier. So they're taking that space. They're going to play their own game. self so into the back. Like, look at how good that separates everybody. Good stuff from them. That's one of the best ways to use it without that Graviton Surge. Sound Barrier now going to help Mayhem Academy stay alive. Manitin having a hard time staying awake, but it's not going to matter as Mayhem Academy going to be taking these kills. Jax is just very, very good during this entire series so far. Mayhem Academy playing as a team so well. This has got to be scary for a lot of other teams to see. Well, oh, this is definitely uh, potentially writing on the wall. Mayhem Academy are here to play uh, because as you know, Gig had a great reaction right there. He gets a little bit out of positioning, but because of that, Mayhem Academy might not have expected that Earth Shatter. He throws it down, but the reaction from Paintbrush even faster. He was expecting it ready with that barrier. So now again, we're at square zero. Chicken Tendies have a little bit of distance, but they got to stream together in two consecutive good fights. Uh, really good sleep on two back fiction, but the almost survived all of that, but the hit was the, eventually the thing to take him down. He needed to do all the damage at once. Is Harold going to get a kill onto Mangachu? Chicken Contendi is finally getting their momentum on their side. Mayhem Academy, I was interested to see how they were going to take that last fight because they invested so much, and they knew that Chicken Contendi's had the support ultimate available. 
Yeah, sometimes you do just have to take a lost fight in these uh, goats compositions. Not quite mirror goats, very similar though. So rally procced once again for Mongatu as they come in hard and heavy. The best case scenario would be to force Suppose to use his trans early. Oh, couldn't save Buck. The Buck stops there. Can chicken contend he's going to be functioning with the 6v5 right now. Man, the Academy has the numbers advantage. Jack's going to get a kill on it to Gig, and he's very, very high energy right now. That's why you're seeing chicken contend he's run away from this high energy Shax. The unfortunate thing is Buck was unable to maintain any type of life, so he's gonna come in with a big fat bagel in terms of uh, energy. A goose egg, right? So you're gonna make a full breakfast almost as that's going to be a painful reset for Chicken Tendies. They have a little less than two minutes. It's certainly doable, but gonna be a rough fight as Mayhem Academy control the high ground. Chicken Tendies would have to do a giant loop to loop in order to force them off, but no, Fact Fiction wants to brawl right here. Oh, good patience from Fact Fiction, waiting for the bubble to charge in. A lesser ride might have done it the moment they saw them, uh, you know, horizontally away, or parallel uh, movement from this Reinhardt, and uh, he did, he waited for the right perfect time, and Mayhem Academy come out on top. Yeah, so small micro moments of decision making, right, that will give you the edge, especially when we're talking about mirror compositions. There's no inherent advantage to the heroes that you're running, so it's all up to you and your team to get more value from your cooldowns and your ultimates than Chicken Tendies, who are currently holding, once again, at no ults. So, like, quite close here, but Mayhem Academy stacked with nearly the full Depending on when this fight happens determines how much of an advantage Mayhem Academy has. Because they have all six ultimates, but they might not know that Chicken Contendies doesn't have anything other than the sound there, but it doesn't seem like they care. You saw the charge onto Gig that opens them up for the self-destruct. Three kills for Manitin. It's, it's textbook at this point for Mayhem Academy. The way that they're rationing their ultimates, the way that they're combining their ultimates has been very good. You can barely fault them for anything that they're doing right now. And Chicken Contendies has it in them. They have, they're going to have that shatter, grab, bomb combo coming into here as, as well as supposes trance. So chances are good. It's about taking a good initial engagement. Oh, and it was Eden Manitin doing a really good job. Doesn't matter if it's coming from any Zarya, yeah, because Ulti and Buck have both been feeding those uh, Graviton Surges into Manitin's defense matrix as F's going to get another kill onto his counterpart, Suppose, who has Transcend. It's Earth Shatter coming from both directions. Right. You don't see that every day. Everyone just developed narcolepsy all of a sudden. Falls to the ground. Mayhem Academy, though, still on top. Look at the health bar for Chicken Contendies. That's not going to last for much longer. F's going to be able to use that Transcendence. Suppose was able to come back, get that Transcendence out. Really wanted it for the last fight. Would be more valuable in that situation. Mayhem Academy are going to stop them here in Hangar. They know exactly what to do to get this. Mm -hmm. Tendies bought themselves some wiggle room, but were not able to complete the map. So this is a you know, dangerous territory because point A can be very risky. Depending on how closely you hold up towards the spawn, you may or may not get a good chance to set up for your final point A defense, which is where Tendies need to hold them. It's going to be so hard to keep the ball rolling once Mayhem get into hangar phase with the way that they've been playing with such confidence, with such heat, right? Uh, it's really interesting. Every time they engage, uh, Mayhem Academy don't seem shaken at all. It's, you know, it's hard to tell through the screen, mm -hmm. but, uh, but that's my guess. You know, so a lot of people say that with this GOATS meta, we're, we're lacking a certain kind of stylistic play from certain players, mm -hmm. right? Being able to individually, you know. Affect the Exactly. Fight. Agility's Genji, I think, is one of the best examples of that, yeah. right? <laughs> like back when he did the one swipe 6K Sometimes back in Contenders of Old. Swing, right? right? But now what's really cool about Mayhem Academy is I'm actually seeing a little bit of that come out. They're playing very in your face against Chicken Contenders. They know that they're playing better, and they're not going to give Chicken Contenders a chance to prove them otherwise. That that moxie is just really really cool to see. I, it is very refreshing, right? The Mayhem Academy they struggled last season, no doubt about it, right? They again had a lot of individual talent, they just weren't able to make it happen. And now this finally might be that Cinderella story, that perfect fit of players who understand the game and understand each other. So Mayhem Academy right now showing you know a little something some uh, character we might say with a uh, Mangatu back on the Torbjord. Maybe we might see him grace our screens. We might see a little Hanzo. We might get a little bit of a 7v6. But for attendees, what certain is, they got to get Buck up to this EMP quickly. That is going to be their win condition. You're giving up that Zarya. You're giving up all the damage in the hopes that you can take away all those abilities from Mayhem Academy. But they're not making it easy. Beep boop. 
Magatu, ah, aw, aw, so excited. <laughs> well, there, you know, there was a, uh, it was going to be hard to get onto the payload as Buck was being the nuisance there. The Diva did have uh, tabs on Buck Sombra, but they're deciding against uh, the pirate ship composition, which can work on all escort maps. Those of you at home playing ra ranked games Do a little later. Do not listen to Goop. He has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> Mayhem Academy. You know, Mansion is hacked, but these hacks don't seem to be very valuable so far for chicken contendies throughout the entirety of Buck playing Sombra, really. It's, uh, you hack the D.Va, and the goal is then it's easy to de-mech her, but you have no Zarya to pump in damage, right? So you're kind of just playing around, hoping to get, you know, a lucky hack, get that EMP fast, but suppose is down. Yeah, Buck is pretty much the damage here for chicken contendies, and uh, that's why you're seeing the D.Va's flex off, because that Zarya damage is so valuable, right? They become the only DPS other than uh, if you have an amazing Zen in the back lines. Right now, chicken contendies would love to have that Zarya, but right now they're not, and there's 5 minutes and 13 seconds left for Mayhem Academy to reach the end of this. Uh, actually, to reach the yellow box of victory. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a little bit tough because Buck was forced out of the fight. You can see his health bar still extremely low, even though he holds onto the EMP. So now he's going to finally be able to rejoin here. This is Tendi's best chance at an actual defense. Buck has the high ground. They know where he is now, but he's just searching for that target. He wants to get more than one. That's the hope. Translocate destroyed. Here we go. The EMP goes on to three members. Shax is going to go down. This is not looking good for Mayhem Academy. That didn't matter in three uh, fights of the past, but it will matter in our present. Mayhem Academy are going to reset. They don't really care about that. They're like, hey, use EMP because now we know this next push is going to be good for us. Mm -hmm. Fs can just float in being like, uh-huh, what you going to do about it? He will have Again, the trick. Again, exactly what he <laughs> That's exactly like. what Fs says. Yeah. <laughs> That's what Zenyatta sounds like generally. Uh -huh. um, uh, so Mayhem Academy coming back in here. Manitan has the bomb. That's a great zoning ultimate. And you can also have, uh, of course, you'll also have Eps with that trance at the ready. Even though there's no Zarya online, you're going to use that to try and continue to tempo that fight, sustain, find even more kills, win confidently. Chicken Contendies really needs to look for some confidence right now because they are not playing with a good transcendence coming from AM Academy, keeping them alive. Buck is going to go down first. Chicken Contendies do have what they need to maintain some sort of presence. The Fact Fiction going to use the Earth Shatter, not get anybody with it. Some cool style points, though, for Fact Fiction. Chicken Scares. One yeah. of Ryan's biggest enemies. <laughs> Chicken Contendies do have that Self Destruct. They do have that Earth Shatter. Are they going to be able to combo with The answer is no, as these Earth Shatters have actually not found a ton of bodies <laughs> other than the one where they found the entire team on the other side. The Self Destruct is up. Gig is very low. Is he going to fall down? Yes, he will. They don't even need the Self Destruct. Is Mungachu going to get those three kills to finish off this round? Mayhem Academy going to take down Chicken Contendies. Four to nothing, very very quickly, uh, and uh, that's a that's, that's a rough one. That's a yeah. rough one. But again, they're they're without arguably their best player, yes. uh, their team leader, the voice, you know, the shot caller, and uh, and uh, it's just know, a little unlucky reason, how but. it's a little unlucky how the cards fell for Chicken Tendies. Yeah. You know, coming into a matchup against a very strong academy team who's also you know playing with that newfound confidence with those you know uh, with this new look to be down hard blue. So. Tendies do take a rough loss. There are going to be lessons learned from it regardless, though, um, as Mayhem Academy now looking quite strong. Yeah, I, I believe Chicken Contendies had to play with two subs that game. And that's just, in general, when you're when you're hearing that, oh, my favorite team's playing with two subs, regardless of what sport you're talking about, you're going to be a little apprehensive about that game. This was kind of just the definition to me of a feels bad man. Mm -hmm. uh, they do, you know, have some things to work on, uh, some individual things in that game, but we probably won't be seeing uh, that kind of composition uh, again. And so uh, take what you need. Uh, once again, Harblue, good feelings uh, coming from uh, coming from us to you, from the Contenders team. Good luck, man. And uh, that's going to be it for our first game. we got another one coming up in about six minutes. We will see all of you guys then.